Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Dina Hype coming back with you guys with a brand new video and hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be basically covering the March 12th patch notes or the update 1.14 patch notes inside of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, as you guys know, there's going to be multiplayer info, there's going to be blackout info, there's going to be zombies info. This is basically going to be covering every single new thing that was brought into the game for update 1.14. Whether it be small little things, big patch notes, things that maybe a gun nerf, a gun buff, little updates, little game modes that they put in. It's everything that's going to be covered in today's video and I will leave a link to the Reddit post in the description that was released by Treyarch themselves. So if you guys want to go ahead and read the entire post by yourself, you guys can do so by clicking the link in the description or if you guys want to read along with me, you guys could do that as well. But before I go any further, please remember if you guys are brand new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on before you guys click off the video. If you guys are going on to enjoy the content that I'm posting and want to keep up to date, Go ahead, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and you guys will never miss out on another video that I post. Remember, if you guys are going to enjoy this specific video, do not forget to hit that like button. It's much appreciated if you do so. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, like I said, the link will be in the description, so if you guys want to go ahead, head down there, and read it along with me, you guys can do that. But to start off, the post says, March 12th update, Operation Grand Heist, next major update, and our free Shamrock and All event have begun. Our next major update during Operation Grand Heist begins today along with our Shamrock and All event on PS4, delivering a ton of new content, features, and gameplay improvements across multiplayer, blackout, zombies, and the World League Hub. Here's what's new this, in this week's update. The Shamrock and All event on PS4. We're celebrating St. Patrick's Day throughout the month of March with our Shamrock and All event in or in-game event in Black Ops 4 kicking off today on PS4. Now remember, I'm going to go ahead and point this out now when they say today. They mean March 12th. It is currently March 13th when this video will be going out for you guys. So just keep that in mind. But it says here this event brings free new seasonal content to multiplayer, blackout, and zombies. Including new game modes, limited time thematic updates, and some unexpected surprises. Here's a look at what's new. Free personalization items. Visit the black market during the special event to receive your free St. Patrick's Day gesture and calling card. Multiplayer St. Patrick's Stockpile. And this seasonal twist of Fracture from Black Ops 3, kill enemies to collect their shamrocks and deposit them at the nearest pot of gold to score points for your, or for your team. I'm going to leave a link to the video I just posted before this one. It is the shamrock and all, or stockpile gameplay. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out that video, you guys can click the link in the description down where it says stockpile gameplay. It'll be the video that I put out for you guys. But moving on here for Blackout, it's a spring update. With the map and new surprises, spring has arrived in Blackout, bringing with all new lighting, a whole lot of greenery, and some colorful hidden treasures. Follow the rainbow. In zombies, there are green-eyed zombies, plus a seasonal Easter egg. May the luck of the Irish be with you against the green-eyed zombies. The wait in classic chaos story maps. Rumor has it that they're hiding a special new Easter egg to discover at the end of the rainbow. Wear some green... Or wear some green, grab your friends, and enjoy the shamrock and awe in all the modes during this two-week event. Next up, it says here for multiplayer. Multiplayer gets a huge update this week, including our new stockpile update, a stormy new variant of contraband map for all players, score streak tuning for friendly fire modes, new improvements to league play, and more. Here's what's coming to multiplayer in this week's new up update. Stockpile on PS4. Black Ops 3 fan favorite Fractured Game Mode returns with a new twist in Stockpile debuting today on PS4. Collect all collect and bank enemy tags, deposit them to point to the point to score points for your team, and rack up the most points for the win. Contraband Hurricane. The warming springtime weather has swept a, a tropical storm across the island of Contraband. Free for all players starting this week. And that is a map if you guys are curious. Score streak tuning, the Thresher will no longer damage friendly players in modes with friendly fire enabled, and the Dart will no longer count toward team kill punishment in modes with friendly fire enabled. On Casino, Hardpoint, and Custom Game Fixes, Casino will now be available in Hardpoint and Custom Game Playlists for Black Ops Pass holders. Next up, Prestige Master Level 999 Fix. For those multiplayer diehards who've already reached Level 1000 Prestige Master, but haven't seen their rank update past Level 100 level 999 a fix is live for you with today's update now i know that was a big update that needed to come soon i've seen a lot of players been complaining about that a lot of content creators who they say that they have gotten to level 999 
but they just like they sit right there it's like they're level 1000 but they're level 999 and it's a little bit annoying that Trey couldn't fix that earlier it took him this long to fix it but at least it's fixed now next up it says later in operation grand heist we're also introducing the new bare bones game mode featuring classic gameplay rules and no specialist infected capture the flag and prop hunter are also planned for later in the operation along with even more gameplay improvements and tuning updates and as you guys know as that stuff does come out to the game I will have videos on all that put on the channel, so whenever it does come out, stay tuned. Next up, World League Hub. Thanks to everyone in the competitive community for the incredible reception of League Play. The, new, the numbers are in, and we were blown away since launching League Play in Black and 4 on all platforms. We've seen an exponential increase in player participants, our participation compared to Black Ops 2 League Play, making our second most popular multiplayer playlist behind Team Deathmatch as of last week. Next up says here league play has constantly evolved behind the scenes since launching just a few weeks ago thanks to large part of direct player feedback today we're excited to announce a new round of improvements kicking off today to make league play even more competitive and rewarding match quit penalty when a player quits with four more players on their team that player will now receive a new penalty to their latter points in addition to the standard match loss of deduction as quitting match will also count as a loss this is the first phase of penalties that we're implementing for quitters in league play with another round of refinements planned for our next major update now i don't really know what this could mean because i like they said if you leave inside of league play i do it a couple times whenever i don't really have the time and i was just hopping off for a quick game if i leave it'll basically just go ahead and count me as a loss i don't know what this penalty could be maybe it'll take away a lot more points off of your ladder i don't really know but moving on here it says daily bonus or rollover We've heard your feedback on the daily bonus system, namely the initial version was most advantages to players who could not get in enough matches each day to earn the maximum number of bonus points. To improve this, now your remaining daily points pull will roll over day to day until the end of each league play event, allowing all players to max out their bonus points at their own pace. The daily bonus has also been reduced from 200 to 100 to better balance its impact on the overall ladder. Next up, 12, ladder, or 12 custom classes. All League Play competitors will now have an instant access to all 12 custom classes in World League Hub. This will allow all players to set up a full or suite of custom loadouts specifically for League Play rules without first prestiging multiple times in its multiplayer. Next up, top 5 ladder rewards. Players will now earn 4 gems for finishing in the top 5 of their division with your rank now permanently reflecting your top 5 finishes with gold silver treatments. This adds another important milestone for players to battle over between top 10 and first place in each league play event. Next up, a new first place reward. Players can now earn 5 gems for finishing in first place in, e in league play. It was previously 4 gems. It says here, we'll continue to add more improvements and features to league play in the future updates, including additional ranks. Keep your feedback coming and watch the space for more news. Next up is Blackout. Blackout gets a new springtime makeover with this new update. Our wholly anticipated hardcore mode, a suite of, of new features and quality of life improvements and more. Thanks to the community's overwhelming support of Hot Pursuit, we're keeping it in the mix while hardcore takes the feature playlist slot. New Blackout features and new content with this week's update include a spring seasonal map update, Blackout's map takes on an entirely new look for spring including updated lighting new and improved greenery and springtime trees and the full bloom throughout the map next up is hardcore mode on ps4 drop into blackout with no hud armor or vehicles or zombies and our all new hardcore mode watch the skies as a fleet of choppers will drop flares overhead to inform players of each new circle location you'll need to keep your wits about you and rely on your senses if you want to make it out on top Next up, Contraband Stashes on PS4. Discover Contraband Stashes in Blackout to get access to the latest weapons including the Rampage, Auto Shotgun, Switchblade, X9 Folding SMG, and the Cap 45 Auto Pistol. Next up, Muscle Car and SUV in Solos, Duos, and, and Quads. Our newest land vehicles makes their debut in Core Blackout playlist with this week's update. The Muscle Car and SUV bring their own distinct advantages, but their special abilities remain exclusive to Hot Pursuit. Operator weapons and pure fire you'll be able to find and wield a new class of weapon equipped with the operator mods from multiplayer in blackout 
with this new update as well as the Firebreak's Purifier if you're lucky enough to find it. Next up, Weapon Inspect. Weapon Inspect will be available by pressing left on the D-pad. Holding left on the D-pad will still activate the callouts menus, gestures and callouts at the victory screen. Players can now activate gestures and callouts during the victory screen so you can celebrate your number one spot in style. Next up, Limited Time Mode Stats. With this update, all Limited Time Modes will now feed stats directly to the new Limited Time Modes filter in the barracks. Previous Hot Pursuit stats will also populate this to this new stat filter. Now moving on, we have Zombies. For Zombies, as we prepare for the launch of our new, next Zombies experience later this month with Ancient Evil, we're shining the spotlight on our Aether Story premise crew in this update with our new Helkatraz Gauntlet. Host migration for public matches are also arrived with fixes for Master Prestige players plus stability and gameplay improvements for all players. Here's what's in store for zombie players in our newest update. Helkatraz Gauntlet on PS4. Take on 30 rounds of new challenges as the premise crew in Helkatraz, our most exciting zombies gauntlet to date. Next up, host migration. Public matches will automatically continue with a new host if the current host drops out mid-game. Now you guys do not know how excited zombie players are now about that because if you are in a four-man lobby with a bunch of your friends and one guy's like, hey, I gotta go, I got to go shopping, I gotta go eat. Now he can, if he's the host, goodbye. Just let him go. And you guys will, one of you, the three people still left will go ahead and get the host set up. And you guys will not start lagging around and it won't kick you guys out of the game. Which is very freaking cool if you guys, any zombie player. Next up is Prestige Master Fixes. We're fixing several key issues for Prestige Master players in zombies with this update including XP inconsistencies and issue with properly displaying Prestige icons. Next up, Stability and Gameplay Improvements. This update also delivers several crash fixes throughout this mode as well as gameplay improvements across 9, Blood of the Dead, Classified, and Dead of the Night. Now next up we have general th things that, like this isn't zombies information anymore, this is going to be basically everything that we're kind of going to the general just what exactly this update is. In general, it is a free shamrock and awe event now live in multiplayer, blackout, and zombies. As you guys know, we've already covered everything for multiplayer and world league. If you guys are reading the article currently, Basically, where it says general, it's going to basically cover everything that we've already read before. It's just kind of grouping it up and summarizing everything for you guys. So you guys kind of understand everything about this. Now, as you guys know, I'm not going to go into depth of reading all this stuff again. Because I've already read everything here. And I'm not going to just basically be repeating myself. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did kind of enjoy this update video. Like I said, this was the March 12th update 1.4 patch note so if you guys want to enjoy this video do me a favor hit that like button it's always much appreciated if you do so and if you guys are always looking to be notified about call of duty black ops 4 information and like gameplay or if you guys are enjoying the content that i'm posting on the channel all you guys gotta do is subscribe to the channel turn that notification bell on you guys will be automatically notified whenever i post a video to the channel it's completely free you guys don't gotta do anything else just subscribe hit that notification bell make sure it says turn on all notifications and you guys will be notified every single time I'm posting. And also, if you guys want to go ahead and drop a like on the video, it's always much appreciated if you do so. If you guys enjoyed this specific video, drop a like. It's always much appreciated to let your content creators know that you guys are enjoying the content that they're posting out for you guys. But that's going to do it for today's video. Remember, if you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, links to everything are in the description. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out my sponsors and help benefit me very greatly, you guys can do so by clicking the link in the description. It'll take you guys directly over to my sponsors. It, there's OPC, great gaming chair. You guys can click the link and it'll go ahead and give you guys a discount whenever you get there. And if you guys want to go and check out Fade Grips, great control grips. You guys can put them on your controllers and it'll help you guys with, if your hands sweat, you guys can put a grip over the top of your entire controller and it'll keep your hands from sweating and controller grips that you guys can put on your analog sticks to help you guys grip the controller a little bit better and play better. And also X2 Gaming Store if you guys want to use all the links. X2 Gaming Store is great gaming memorabilia and like little keychain sticker stuff like that so if you guys want to go and check out any of them click the links use the codes and you guys will get discounts at all the websites and it'll help benefit me very greatly and also if you guys want to go and check out my merch store you guys can do so by clicking the link in the description down where it says merchandise it'll take you guys directly over to my merchandise store and you guys can cop yourself some the hype nation merch it's not required but if you guys want to rep the brand feel free to do so but without further ado guys it's been Woody and hype i'll catch you guys next one have a great day peace